And you know, at this moment, it's a bit difficult to um, to talk about how it's all going to um, end up or it's going, going to work out because we don't know whether the leaks are even going to continue or not. And the losses really come in when the league decide not to, the, club, the country decides that they're not going to continue the league. Like what France did, okay. If the France government is not really going to pump some money into the club, then it means the clubs are really going to lose big time. Okay, right. that is where the difficulties come. One thing that I know is clubs in Ghana with contacts in Europe, with agents um, contacts that they have, should start positioning themselves and giving out players that they think are ready for the market, for it to be pushed in. Even though the, the, everything is on hold, nothing is happening, we are still communicating with clubs. Clubs are still speaking to us. We're still discussing about positions that are important that they might need. Okay, we're doing that and holding on to see how it all uh, ends up, how it all uh, comes, uh, it will all come out. You understand? Then we would agree on on ten. So clubs should not sit and wait for the whole thing to come to an end before they start marketing or trying to put the players to. For example, the agent that called you. I'm telling yeah. you that he's doing that not based on um, direct um, information that he has or based on um, a club that did a particular position, but he wants to be open and be throw, right. throw the net um, wide and see what he can guess and see how he, how he can put them in when the market opens. So it's, okay. it's, it's a very tricky situation and we don't know how it's all ending up <laughs> at the end of it all.